Get ready to match the stars. Horse and Bean. Brett Summers. Charles Nelson Riley. Meredith McRae. Richard Dawson. And Marsha Wallace. As we play the star-studded Big Money Match Game 74. And now, here's the host of Match Game 74, Gene Rayburn. Can't talk without a microphone. How are you, Johnny Olson? Good. Listen, I'm very happy to see everybody here, uh, both uh, there and there and there, and especially welcome. Uh, it's always nice to see new faces here, and we've got some. We are very happy to see Marsha Wallace of the Bob Newhart. It's the same face. It's the same face. Are you happy to be here? Oh yes. Good. And we're happy to see this. Whoa. <laughs> Boy, are we happy to see you. <laughs> She just made a movie in Spain with her husband, Greg Malavy, who right. started it and co-produced it, right? It wasn't in Spain, it was here. It was here? That's right. Oh. Yeah. All right, well, go to Spain with us. <laughs> we just came back from Spain, but we didn't do a movie there. All right, what did she... No, don't answer that mm, question. It's a scarf. And Orson, what are you up to? <laughs> 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 You're down then. <laughs> See, that's his... Uh, 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 uh. We'll try it again the next show, Arson. Are you all right? Yeah, well, I'm fair to middling. No. Yes, I've just been signed to do the uh, life story of Gertrude Stein. That's why I've... Uh... <laughs> all right. Now let's say hello to our two players, Phyllis McDaniel and Jim Dunn. Hello there, two players. Jim Dunn's a current champion. He's won uh, one game, right? One game. You got 600 bucks to your credit. Yes, I do. I like that outfit. Thank you very You're much. You're a very uh, well-dressed fellow there, Jim Dunn. Well, thank you. You ready to have a go at it? I sure am. We started this game last time we were all together, and we finished round one. And Phyllis, you finished your end of round two, didn't you? Right. You're up to four, and when we pick up here with the second and final round, you're gonna have to score three matches to stay in the game. Four, however, will win it for you. We're gonna get to that right after we get to this message for you. All right, here we go, friends. <laughs> Almost walked in front of the shot there, didn't you, right there? Oh, he's quick, that tall, skinny Iris Kutch. All right. This oh, is for you, Jim. Remember, three to tie, four to win. Oh, mercy. Now, last time, uh, uh, Brett, you do not participate because okay, uh, you were matched last time. Yes, Everybody else does, though. Here we go. Sir Lancelot said, I'd better look for another job. My pet dragon just blanked on King Arthur. <laughs> Sir Lancelot. <laughs> you remember him, Richard? Yes, sir. <laughs> Sir Lancelot said that. I better look for another job. My pet dragon just blanked on King Arthur. No peeking, Brett. Well, she's not in. She can pee. I, I, oh, I, I, oh, that's I'm right. She can pee. Yeah, I, I get to pee. All right. Auntie Charles, what a wick. I see the audience likes the question. Where did you hear the answers? <laughs> Everybody ready over here? Okay. Now, Jim, we call on you. Sir Lancelot said I better look for another job. My pet dragon just blanked on King Arthur. Just sat. Just sat on right. King Arthur. <laughs> okay, he sat on King Arthur. Yes. Orson, what do you say to that? Well, I was afraid that he was gonna do something terrible on King Arthur. Oh, I see. Fortunately, the, he was castle broken. Oh. <laughs> So he breathed fire on he him. He breathed fire. A dragon would do that, Of course he would. Yes, indeed. Nasty no. thing to do, but... All right. Charles Nelson Riley. Rather than take the time with saying breathes fire, I said flame. Madame. He flamed on him. <laughs> now, Jim, I point out to you, you must match your three remaining celebrities to stay in the game. Meredith, we call on you. Well, I sort of agreed with him. I said breathed. He breathed. <laughs> so, Phyllis McDaniel's the winner. Congratulations.
I see people are squealing for you. She's got a lot of rooters there. And Jim, you've got a lot of rooters here. Who's rooting for you in the $600? Somebody there? My, Good. My wife down. Listen, it was a pleasure to meet you. And Thank I'm you. happy you're not leaving here empty-handed. Jim, you've been a marvelous contestant. Jim Dunn, ladies and gentlemen. Bye. Okay. Isn't that neat the way that works? The whole thing turns around like that. You ready for it? Okay. All right, I'll start. Okay. We polled a recent studio audience, Phyllis, and we got their best response to this. Club blank. Now, the answer they gave most often is worth $500 to you if you match it. Second most frequent response, $250. And if you match a third, it's $100 for you. Now, you can get a little help from our celebrities. Three, to be specific. Which ones do you want? Richard, of course. You want Richard? Yeah. Of course. Yes. Wow. Uh, actually, the night I had to spend the evening with two golf pros, we became a club sandwich. <laughs> club sandwich. <laughs> club sandwich. Brett. Brett. I what say, do you say? I, I say clubhouse. Clubhouse. That's where I became a sandwich. All right. So you got a sandwich and you got a clubhouse. One more celebrity. Marsha. Uh. Marsha's thinking. Yeah. Had two. What's that? I had two. You had two? Yeah. You can't think of another one? Club of soda. Club soda? You accept that? Okay. So you've got clubhouse, club sandwich, and club soda. You may choose one of those or give us one of your own. What would you like to do? Clubhouse. House. House. She chooses a house. We are looking for a clubhouse. She hopes it's up there. We're going to find out if it is up there right now, and if so, where? First, May we see the $100 response? Club sandwich is there. It's the one that Richard gave you. That may be a good omen. Let's find out now. We're still looking for clubhouse. What's under the $250 response? Clubhouse it is! Congratulations. Well, what do you think's under the $500? Steak. Club steak? Yes. Club soda. All right, here is the $500 response. Club soda's right. Okay, Marsha's the one you gave. Club soda. There yeah, was right. a large group from the B'nai B'rith in that night. That's right. Now, Phyllis, you've got the $250. That means you're going to be playing for 10 times that amount, or $2,500. Now, to collect, you've got to match one celebrity. Head-to-head -head has to be an exact match. Choose one now. I'd still like Richard. You'd still like Richard. You get ready to write, Richard? I certainly will. <laughs> and you'll face me, if you would, please, Phyllis, and I'll get the $2,500 question. Blank wheel. W-H-E-E-L. Blank wheel. <laughs> Okay, Phyllis, he has finished. Now we need an answer from you. How do you fill in the blank? Blank wheel. Wagon. Wagon wheel. Okay. Now for $2,500, Richard, may we see your answer? I have a terrible feeling that Ward Bond is going to come back and beat me up. I said spinning wheel. Spinning wheel is good. Wagon wheel was good. There are a number of good choices there. Well, listen, Phyllis, you're still a champ. You've got $350, and in a moment or so, you're going to meet another player. But first, we've got to pass along a message for you, and this is it.